You've emerged from your cocoon like a butterfly. I'm back, baby! <laughs> They're not gonna hold me down. They're not gonna hold Stormy down. None of us. We're all fighting back. <laughs> That's your friend now, right, Stormy Daniels? Oh, yes. How did this happen? Uh, well, first of all, I, when I met her, Stormy Daniels came to see me on my almost sold out world tour, Kathy Griffin Life Your Head Off tour. And she came. To... <laughs> she did. She wow. came to see me in Boston. Wow. And I snuck her in because obviously there's safety issues. <laughs> and uh, we obviously <laughs> hit it off. And when we met backstage, I go, Hi, Thelma, I'm Louise. Let's take this down. <laughs> and, and so we become friends, obviously. And, um, you know, God love her. You know, I last love... night after the rest, uh, you know, we've been chatting about that. Oh, you did? You called her? Yeah, she sent me a picture of herself on the way to go give the tips from last night, the two girls where they press charges. So she's going to give them her tips. And she's got a double tomorrow night in West Virginia and a double Saturday. So she's back on the pole, baby. <laughs> back on the pole. <laughs> and I'm, I'm back to telling my vulgar jokes. Everything's back to normal. It's a normal I world I knew order. things would settle down eventually. Exactly. But it's great. I honestly, I'm so grateful. Like, the picture that, you know, was supposed to take me down ended up being the photo that lets me tour, like, the world. So... And made you a new friend in Stormy Daniels. Okay, so I... First of all, I set a record because I do things like that as a comedian for the young female comedians of the future. Uh -huh. um, I played Radio City two Mondays ago and Carnegie Hall the next night. That's pretty Come amazing. Come on, Radio That's City. Yeah. Yeah. Radio City and Carnegie Hall. Radio City Monday, Carnegie Hall sold out Tuesday. Nobody ever done that before. Nope. That's pretty, that's remarkable. And that's, that's right. And so after Carnegie Hall, I actually, um, I was gonna say hooked up with Stormy, but that's a different field. Uh -huh. It's a field which she excels in. She excels <laughs> in her field. Um, and not actually, your chosen field, but not hers. My, my yeah. field is, I, she, we both enjoy the I like the jokes. She really, she does so many things with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, you know, a lot of different activities. Um, so I actually picked her up at her hotel and after uh -huh. Carnegie Hall. She came by to my hotel and we were like up talking like schoolgirls for you three hours. You guys really are friends. We're hitting it off. Although every time, um, cause I do have to tease her about, cause you know, she had consensual sex with the idiot, orange idiot. What? Yes, it was, I know, she, it was, you know. I, by the way, my theory is being like a porn girl, she was just like, look, this will take five minutes, just get it over with. Yeah. Um, but every time I would tease her about his actual man parts, she would just go, ugh. So, really? Of course we get along. I tried um, to get that, that information out of her, and she declined to answer. We had three carrots, and I just, of varying sizes, right. I just asked her to pick one. And I, at that time... I would think it would be a, a rotten carrot with maybe <laughs> some spots or growths on it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm guessing, I'm guessing. It's not my field. It's not my field. Um, although, because we've been getting along, I actually had an idea, and I want to tell you something you don't know, and I'm okay. going like, to try not to cry because it's been a crazy year. Oh. But I want you to know that James Kimmel... What did I do? One of the few Hollywood people that called me that day and was like, hang in there, you'll be okay, and like, had my back. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, I love you. You're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so glad anyway, you're back. And it, what about your mom? Was your mom supportive throughout this? No. Your my mom, mom was not. threw me under the bus. <laughs> my, I am not sticking with you for this one, Kathleen. This is, <laughs> this is the limit. <laughs> really? Now, that is enough. I was watching my Sean Hannity, and he says, you're in ISIS. And I thought, out of all the clubs you could join, <laughs> why would you join? <laughs> I, my mother. My mom mother. Is here tonight. My own mother. Turncoat. Maggie, Turn is coach. this true? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, now she's blowing the kiss because the TV the camera's on her. Now she's blowing the kiss. Is this true that you were on the Sean Hannity side of this deal? Yeah. She doesn't hear me at all. No, just, but yeah, she told me that she believed her boyfriend, Sean Hannity. She calls him her boyfriend. You know what, you bitch? <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> it's not about you for once. I swear to God. 98 years young. I'm sorry. Is there a professional I can give this to? I'm sorry, sir. Wow, we've re sorry. we really happened into a family feud sorry. here with the Griffin family. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.